Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Machinky playthrough. We're off to the fifth era slowly. We're in the second era now and uh, we've got to do this and enter the early diesel age. So we'll be uh, producing more lumber, more coal and now we're going to get iron underway as our train pulls in. Is that or is that behind us? Oh, it is going to pull in here, isn't it? What are you? You are a lumber train. You're heading over that way. Brilliant. In the previous episode, we set up some stations. We can't do them just yet, otherwise they'll, they'll be empty. But we do have them set up. What I want to do is see if there's any... Yeah, we've got the coal. There's one of the coal trains just there. Platforms. Not trains. There's no train on it just yet. What I want to see is... Do we have any way to get further products into the tool works that we're going to be using? We're going to be using this one down here uh, because we've got coal, iron, and then our iron works here, or foundry, which is then going to go to this tool works here. We might be able to do something cool and squeeze down here uh, in between these two huge lakes. But what we could also do, as we do have logs and planks up here, we could send planks down if that is the closest tool works, which, I mean, it's about that that distance, isn't it? Either way. So perhaps what we'll do is we'll set up a station here too and think about getting... Oh, we've got a bit of a bit of a scenery challenge there to do. Yeah, let, let's get cracking. Let's build us a, a station here as well. We, uh, where have we got to go here? We've got to go that way only. So we can do it from here. Maybe have some sort of cutting. I don't know. The the sawmill. Yeah, we could we could probably do that. I mean, money's not an issue. I would like to set up further passenger lines. I mean, you can never have enough, right? So that will get that forest underway, and we'll take that to the sawmill, and then from that sawmill we'll make our way past Liverpool. Apparently, there's a Liverpool in the U.S. as well. That's kind of cool. Then we can uh, take it to the... This tool works down here is going to have to be multi-platformed. Definitely. It's very windy up here. We do have coal and iron up there as well. Uh, we could also deliver direct coal to our tool works. That's also a possibility. I feel like since we're going to have some sort of main line going down between these two lakes though... That we might as well just shunt all of that. Well, we've got a foundry there as well, don't we? Maybe that would be better. Because there's nothing going on around here. Yes. I mean, it's still a bit of a journey to get to this tool works. But either way, it should make for some uh, interesting scenic routes. You know what? That looks like a plan, doesn't it? We use this foundry as well. We have. In fact, we have iron here. We could then use that iron and that coal to take it to a foundry over here, perhaps. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that one out. I feel like we should use this one, though, since it's there. We might only need a little a little train uh, shunting stuff backwards and forwards here. Through the eras, we might be requiring further use of these. Uh, if we do... Oh, we can't, can't do that because it's at an angle. Let's do a little bit of terraforming then just to flatten that out hopefully there we go we should be able to get our station in now lovely i think that that is indeed full size so we've got another one underway do we have any more post office we do we have a decent post office combo there it's shorter than the one we've set up wherever that is i think it's further down south there it is that would be Telford, yep. I do remember Telford. And I, where were we heading it to? Telford and is it further down south? Warrington, that's right. Uh, I noticed something on editing. And I'm not entirely sure whether this... It doesn't... It, look, it doesn't reach the house. It's only collecting mail. Let's get us an extension on here. Uh, a waiting room, which are, are fairly cheap these days. Given uh, our throughput of money, we might put it that side. Do you know, it kind of looks nice there, because then if we flip to beauty mode, we've kind of got an entrance to the station. 
You, you've got to kind of crawl up onto that bit first. Oh, well, here we go. Log processing. I have a big problem here. Actually, we both have a problem. Do we? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Oh, it's Jack. Jack, forever negative. <laughs> the uh, ultimate pessimist. Our company has invested considerable funds in logging technology. Your company is barely delivering half of what our sawmills can carry. Handle. Just, just make up words. We demand you increase delivery of logs by at least half the capacity of our mills. I, I guess we just go full on capacity, right? That's your problem. We're, we're not like that. We're, we're up for a challenge. We're up for a challenge. You can repeat this task until you achieve this. Yeah. So anything that gives you that, we can just do that. Look at our throughput. I wonder how close we'll be. If we uh, if we achieve that straight off the bat, that'll be interesting. Right, so we've uh, we've got that extension in and now we should start seeing people there. What do you think, guys? Should we have another? We, we might as well have another passenger route. We might need to scoot around the back of this this whole situation going here. But I think we can make it work for us. We've also got to get iron. But we can uh, we can build some bridges because money really isn't an issue. We are definitely going to get iron works underway. This is kind of a nice city too. Now, considering how we've got to avoid the freight line, um, it's go it's going to be tricky, isn't it? Absolutely going to be tricky. We could have the loop go round the town and head behind the coal mine and up that way and wiggle a bit. Or we could share track. I think sharing track might be a better solution for us. I don't think it's ever going to be that busy. And it might be my famous last words. <laughs> right, we're going to uh, go not that close. Let's go there and we'll extend the station that way. And we're definitely going to need a waiting room on there because otherwise we're not going to reach anything, are we? Right, we'll put it there. That should give us all the room we need to start with. We could build a road down here and let them start building up there as well. Eventually. I mean, it, it, we're getting to the point where we can start building roads for our cities to expand in sort of our desired direction. I mean, eventually we might go for multiple stations in a city. Now, this one. Straight across there. We're not doing anything silly like that. Right, let's put you in there. This road could possibly encapsulate all of those buildings maybe he says i'm not sure let's have a look if we spin that around that's kind of nice although we're kind of wasting if we do it like that that's better that's much better uh, in fact could we go that oh you see then we're oh i don't like that we're gonna have to pause this because we don't want to accept anything that they're dropping off or do we do you know what we could uh, multi-platform this, couldn't we? Yes, we'll leave that as is. We'll share. We'll have kind of a, a dual purpose, a dual purpose station here. That sounds good. Okay, let's make sure we're playing because we, we want to keep an eye on how much of our raw materials we have stocked up. Quite a bit, quite a bit. What else have we got to do? Yes, that's going to happen as soon as we start hooking this up. This is just a direct link here. We're not going to get any end product uh, until we take what whatever this makes into the the tool works itself. The foundry, it's going to it's going to do both coal and iron at equal amounts and turn it into is that four times four times iron ingots bars? And, and we get a, a nice little coal token from it too. I feel like that's a balance thing that's been done. I don't remember that you getting straight up coal from those. I could be wrong. These are going to be uh, set up if we go into extensions. One specifically for coal once we've got enough iron. And then this these ones is specifically for uh, iron. So we'll, we'll have proper big uh, iron iron mine and uh, and coal mine. Did I just point there and call that an iron mine? Of course it is. I think we could get going though. We do have new trains to play with. I, I would say we, we get this cracking. Um, the only problem we've got is 
and we'll deal with the passengers afterwards. Ooh, do you know that's a toughie? That's a toughie. We've also noticed in the previous episode that going up a hill from the start isn't the greatest thing to do. And given that we, we have lots of money, how are we going to come round here? Hopefully we can get round there. Well, it's going to be pricey, isn't it? But I'm a, I'm a fan of my cuttings, so we're going to do it. We're going to make a, a bit of a cut in there. It was only 194. Not the end of the world, is it? There we go. We can uh, we can start heading that way, can't we? Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of that as well. Uh, look, there's a little little bit here that I forgot. There we go. Lovely. Not pricey. I don't mind going up a bit of a hill there because once we've got the speed up, it shouldn't matter. Is this going to sit just right? Yep, little wiggle at the end. Don't mind that. I like that we're kind of... How's that look? Yeah, see, that doesn't look too bad. We're just kind of built to accept the ramp. <laughs> uh, never mind. We're definitely going to have to... Uh, yeah, we're absolutely going to have to double track this. And um, we're going to send this around the back here. I want to get the layout sort of right for us before we we uh, begin doing anything. And we're going to have to be very careful. There. That's kind of beautiful. That water's loud. Or is that the foundry? Might be the foundry. Right, and we can use this one. If we give ourselves plenty of room in the middle, then we can bridge over to get to uh, the two places out there. The foundry. And the... Oh, that's a bit of a hill, isn't it? I don't think I like that hill. I'll, I'll say that now. Let's let's at least knock it down a touch. I don't mind spending the money, guys. There, just there. We'll 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 have a bit of a, a variation in our height there. There we go. We'll put it there. We're gonna have a bit of a strange wiggle there, aren't we? That's fine. That's fine. I mean, we're just starting. We're just starting our journey. As long as the majority of the journey is straight, which it is. Now that way we can. I feel like we can hook into this. Like, just straight up hook in. Like that. And coming round, because the bridge only takes three spaces, so if we can uh, figure out where that's going to be, is that exactly three spaces? That's kind of beautiful. So we'll, we'll get ourselves a bridge, and we'll go across. It should be just about perfect. There we go. Uh, we're going to have... We're going to have one of those, because they look nice. <laughs> and they're practical because they've got a good speed on them. And then we'll branch back off there. I think that, that'll do, wouldn't it, for us? That that kind of serves everything. And this lends us to have a double double platform thing going on here. We'll probably have a triple. Then we can branch off there. Not with a station, though. That will not work. There we go. It looks like we're gonna be uh, gonna be making some there. That's that's about right, isn't it? Lovely. You go around that way. So we're going to have passenger trains and freight trains on this one. Sort of liking this idea. Everything going to be on the right side? Yeah, there we go. All those on there. Those on there. And there. We'll, we'll figure out what we're doing with the rest of the signals. I think they signal up to a junction. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. And then same on this side. Looks like we'll be able to get going shortly. We can obviously make use of of a, we a warehouse, a depot, uh, just here. Oh, we haven't done this bit. There we go, because of the junction. And then we'll tidy up the junctions. Yeah, we can make use of a single depot here for quite a few of our, our lines, even up to there. I'm liking this so far, it's not looking too disastrous. Okay, let's put you there and there. That's one junction done. We'll have a short signal there. It doesn't really matter. And we'll have another short signal there. As long as they uh, successfully block the junctions and don't hold our trains up too much, I don't mind. There we go. Now, where's the best place for this depot? Probably on the site. Do you know what we haven't done? Oh, goodness me. Um, yes. We, we don't have... Your company infinite no, I want to build I want to build as we don't have a, a HQ. Look, it's only five hundred and six. We did the logs. Goodness me, I didn't even see that come up. I never doubted you. It's a pleasure to work with you. No, that's not what he said. That's not the letter he sent me. 
I never doubted you. It's a pleasure to work with a person like you. Thank you, Jack. You're coming around. All right. Well, that almost pays for our for our head headquarters. Headquarters, I believe, do unlock uh, certain things. So we we do need it in. Should we start? Where should we put our headquarters? How about right at our starter base? Does it need to be in a town? I, I never know where to put this. Never. Would well, you know what? We're going to put it up by our depot here. There, we'll have our headquarters up there. Ah, uh, now we've got the uh, red dwarf. Uh, that time's ticking away there. Excuse me. Let's pause that. Sir. A businessman from Trans and Cargo contacted me with an offer. They have an old steam locomotive for sale. Coincidentally, I know quite a lot about it. The old porter has been stored in an old depot since an exhibition many years ago. I don't think they know what to do with it. It's a beautiful old locomotive, but what would we do with that old wreck in our company? It's a modified 260, but it doesn't feel like a good investment for us especially for such a lot of money uh we're gonna buy it we're absolutely gonna buy it there we go uh we'll pick it up do you know what we'll pick it up in uh our museum depot over here we'll have all of our our special trains up in here so let's go to bonus we're gonna get him and we can always we can always hook this this up to our main line eventually i'm hoping to get most of our lines connected some way or another so we can get to everywhere from anywhere yes that that's a bold plan one that surely won't backfire i like this whole thing we've got set up here we've still got to run our iron so maybe we shouldn't worry too much just yet we're not at capacity so we don't need to worry about that which way we're going to be we're going to be yeah we're going to be heading out that way aren't we uh yes yes how do we want to do this i guess we could avoid most of it if we if we swing around the side right if we go around there and we could uh, have a nice scenic view of the lake that'd be kind of beautiful i mean i don't mind that as long as we can get in yeah you're kind of not doing what i want you to do there don't do it like that don't do it or or are you doing it right maybe we should do the junction first well, this is making me feel like this shouldn't be the actual passenger station. This should be the coal, uh, the iron coal. Yeah, that that that's about perfect, isn't it? Then we have then we have the passenger station might actually be the middle one. Do you know what? Can we do it? Can we add another station here? Can we branch this one off later? Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that idea. And can we scoot back in? Yeah, we can. Do you know what, guys? I, I think I'm happy with that. It's a bit of a crazy junction, isn't it? We might need to... Uh, we might need to do something about that. Uh, being, oh, We're going to need a signal there and there so they don't trip over each other. And there and there. We'll figure out something. Uh, if it gets too hectic, but they should each have their own platforms... The one that's leaving can probably go on this one. I don't know. We, we can figure that out. I don't know what sort of junctions we could make here. We could probably just go straight across. Since every train's going to be going slow there. Oh yeah, you're not done yet, Gran. You can't just leave it one way. That would be a bit of a mess. We can borrow this bridge, though, that we've already made to save a bit of funds. And those funds we saved will be used by making that flat. Yeah, if we go that way... I think that'll do. That'll do. We're going to get this running before the end of the episode. Guarantee that. Oh, I don't know why I did a wiggle there. Oh, do you know what? Actually, considering the distance we've got to go, we do that. Yeah, of course you're going to. You're not going to like that, are you? I would like to stay straight there. How are we going to do that? How about we extend that a touch that way? In fact, just fill all that in. It's not expensive. Will that give us the uh, piece of track we need? I would like to delete that because I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. Now, will that go around here? Of course you won't. Never understand these. Never understand these. Cannot climb diagonal. Why? Why can't you climb diagonal? Well, I've built it now. 
That's awkward. Don't want to really. Now what are you doing, Grand? <laughs> You're just putting track everywhere. Okay. Let's see if we can not figure this out. Uh, that's just doing the same thing, right? Or is it? Will that give us what we need? No, I don't know. I don't know these angles at all. I could never... They just... We end up with all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Come on, you can get down there. Oh, you know, just stop. Why? Why can't you go down there? It makes no sense. Or we look for a place that is actually doable and just go down there, right? Why not? Because I'm not messing with the scenery too much. I've just spent a fortune there where I didn't need to. I'm too used to the freedom of transport fever and just being able to build wherever I want on track. Well, within within reason, construction not possible. <laughs> it doesn't always go according to plan either, does it? Right. We've got it sussed, I think. Yes, I think we can deal with that. We're going to have a signal right at the bottom of the bridge. Just there. That should be fine. Uh, and we'll put one there. It looks like our trains are not going to be too long. Although we could advance the state. We could move the station up that way eventually. If it comes to it. For now we're not going to really need the length. Uh, no. Don't want to change you. Want to? We might benefit from some chain signals around here. But I don't think we will just yet. Alright, put you there. And put you there. What we got going on at this junction? That's that's an interesting thing. Don't need that one. All right, nothing can possibly go wrong. We're going to get this running today. In fact, we're going to get it running now. Once we can uh, pick a place for a depot, a good place for a depot. I think a good place will possibly be. These towns should grow pretty quick. These two towns, because they do have the the mail going for them, which also helps them grow. It's, it's got to be the, somewhere like in this foresty area. I kind of like the look of that. Let's put one in, shall we? And we'll upgrade it as well. I mean, why not have it right on a junction? There we go. We're going to add the locomotive works because we do have the funds for it. I don't know which way around it's supposed to go. That way. Doesn't matter. There we go. We've got, we got a bigger thing. You can't see it. It's hidden in trees. But it's there. I promise it's there. We can access that now from pretty much everywhere. Now, the only thing I want to encourage is the, the right way. That was not the right way around, was it? There we go. I hope all the signals are on the right side. They are. Let's uh, let's get let's get the coal and the iron going first. We can play it now. Let's get the coal and iron going first. And after that, we can start with the passenger run. Engines. Oh, now, now we've got some choices. These take coal. This is our first train to take coal. But they can, uh, they can really pull some weight, can't they? Yes, they can. They can, they can, these can do 306. The Baldwins are still pretty decent. Now, the Prussian, what do you do? You're kind of a short little loco, aren't you? That's a little bit excessive for what we're doing. And it takes coal as well. The Prussian 202, 224, 306. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have the coal train taking coal. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a little bit unsure about that. I mean, it sort of paid for itself, right? Do you know what? Let's get it on. Let's get the Russian on. The Russian. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. You're, you're going to be carrying some lenses. Or do we have... Do we have new uh, new wagons? I don't know. Let's have a look. Coal. Ah, we have fax. Which, ooh, which take this? We, we can upgrade it because it, everything's in close proximity here. We can possibly upgrade that. How many can we fit on? Because, I mean, they're decent, aren't they? They, they carry 15. Oh, it would be nice, but, I mean, we've, we've got to make the tokens first, so we're going we're gonna to have to suck it up, I think. We'll put what we can afford on there. That's what I think. We'll have two. And then we'll fill the rest of the train up. 
Uh, what's the what's the weight at at the moment? Can we fit one more on? There we go. So I mean that's taking 30, uh, 48. That's got 48 on it. I mean that will do, won't it? That will absolutely do. It's a short little train, but uh, it's got a decent capacity. We need to give you some orders. Let's start you going there first. So we don't want you stopping at that station. And then we can get you going. You're underway. Now we need to add you to. Right, now, do we want you to automatically choose a platform? I don't think so. I wouldn't mind you heading off into there. Which means, between there and here, we want you to use that. And we can move that up there, like so. There we go. That should work for us. It doesn't matter what he does this time around, but that that will mean he uses that platform. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, he's going that way anyway. Good job. Because it's the shortest distance. It's this. It's not the most impressive train, is it? But we just want to get the uh, the production underway. Now we're going to do something similar with the iron ore. And if we can carry about 48 as well, that would be ideal. Well, we'll go with another one of these Russians. Russian. And this time we're taking ore, which we, we obviously we can't afford. But can we get 48? Is that in multiples of 12? That would be four of these, right? One, two, three, four. You're not far over. I don't mind that. And then the, you're taking 48 as well, aren't you? Is my math right there? 24 plus 2. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. That That's kind of worked for us. Except then when, when we change these all over, we're gonna, we might have to juggle them. Although the distances are different, aren't they? And we might need more. Come on. That's going to take some working out. We'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how it goes. Let's add your first station. Obviously wants to be there. So we'll get you started. You're going to do your full route. We'll have the waypoint as... Oh, it doesn't really matter here, does it? You're going to be going there anyway. You just go into the station. There's no way for you to get across there. In fact, I'm feeling like this is a point, pointless junction right here. Mm, well, we'll leave it in and see how it goes. We'll leave it in and see how it goes. Okay, we're underway. We have... Our coal train is, is steaming along quite nicely. Puns intended. Yeah, you're going to struggle up there. It's fine. You're going to do all right. Let's take a look at our train. We've got it underway. We've got it underway. We've, we've started. There's no point rushing to get this over to the tool works because there's absolutely nothing sitting there waiting for us. And, and our platforms are okay right here. I would say that was a that that was a successful beginning to our massive iron industry. We've got our headquarters in now. That's good. That's good. Uh, have I forgot anything else to put in? I don't think so. We're going to be doing this now. This should start, and that should get us underway. And eventually, we're going to start making uh, our iron tokens over there. It's not too much of a run either, which is why I'm in no rush to get that going. Now, the only thing when we come back, I think what we do is we hook up the, the second version of those, which should be have nice full platforms eventually. If I can remember where it was, I will hunt it down. Don't do it now, Grant. It's around there somewhere. I do kind of want to have a look. Can, you, can anybody remember where I put the second one? We had two, didn't we, Runny? Uh, that was that's the one we just did did i actually decide i know i i set up platforms i'm i'm gonna have to check the map now but i won't do that now i won't do that now as i do it i can't help myself okay that's been episode six we have said oh what's this we've got another forgotten train oh well for a long time we've walked by that locomotive sat behind our upper depot it's been left to rust for at least a couple of winters, according to our documents. It doesn't belong to us, but nobody's claiming her. It's a shame to leave it. Uh, pick up your forgotten train. Okay. 
Well, we'll do that when we come back. Or should we do that now? Let's do that now, otherwise I'll forget. And then we will definitely call it bonuses. Gotcha. Right, we have our forgotten train. Oh, that was a... I wasn't expecting that. I completely forgot about that quest. Where's our other passenger train uh, stations? Here they are, here they are. Uh, are you full yet? Not even close. It's going to take a while for those to build up, but we will hook them up shortly. Uh, it's going up to Telford there. And we 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 don't have any other, any other stations. It's not hard to find where the state... Oh, there they are. There they are. See, the, have faith in me. These are almost full. So we're going to... We're going to get those cracking at the beginning of episode 7. And we're, we should have... Uh, by the time we've built that one, if we leave it running, we should have this starting to fill up the platform. At the moment, we just have coal on it because our ore train is only just coming around. So we're going to watch that as uh, we wrap up. That has been episode 6. We are wrapping up on board our brand new iron train iron ore train going past the lakes here over a bit of a bump there we're about to go plowing into that forest no we might miss it <laughs> when we come back we're going to get more iron works underway and finally get them taken to our foundries that'll that'll be on the cards and then we'll get our iron tokens in our pockets so we can start spending them on cool stuff that's what we'll be doing. Also, a couple more passenger routes, I think. They should be uh, have enough people and mail on the platforms to start delivering those. Yeah, so until next time, take care.